Welcome back to Same Right Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful rose drape on a corset. So this corset is already made and is a bust corset. So you can use a Victorian corset or any corset of your choice for this drape. So I've already made the drape as you can see and that is what I want to teach you in this class. So if you want to make your drape as bold as the one we have on the video and on the thumbnail, you can go ahead and increase the width of your fabric, of which I'm going to also instruct you on how to do that. So this is the simple drape and this is the front piece of it as you can see. So here is the side view of this drape. So like I said, I already made this drape, uh, this corset, and it has a sleeve, so I have to tuck it in. But that is by the way. So you can see the side drape. So that's how it's going to look like. And the back drape, this is it on the laced corset. So... If this is what you want to learn in this class, I will encourage you to stay till the end of this tutorial to learn how this drape is made. Thank you. So to begin this tutorial, you'll be needing your draping fabric. So for me, I'm using a Dutchess, uh, a thick Dutchess drape fabric, as you can see right here. So this is um, what I'm half yards that is what i'm going to drape for it then you need your already prepared corset so this corset i have here is a bust corset so you can go ahead and make use of a victorian corset for it so it's all about the draping so you can choose which of the corsets of your choice so i already made this corset and i feel like using it to demonstrate how this drip is made so now the draping is going to start from one end to the other okay it's going to start from one part of the corset to the other as you can see right there on the thumbnail and on the video. So we are trying to recreate what we'll have on that. So I'll set my corset aside. Having uh, gotten my corset where I want to drape, I'll come with my draping fabric. So the length of my drape fabric is one and a half yards. You can make it two inches if you want. So what I did is I went ahead to cut the length. So the length is at 20 inches when unfold is 20 inches and then um, if you open it is 40 inches the length is one and a half which is 54 inches by length and 40 inches by width so now I'll go back to the machine the first thing I'm going to do is to close this part I'm going to close this part I'm closing it this way I'll close it that way. I'll close it and leave a little space. This is how you are going to close it. So you are going to close uh, on this part that is um, 20 inches length on fold. Then you close 54 inches length. So I have to close it up to the end. And I came a little midway. I left here open for the turning. So I'll quickly go ahead and turn the fabric. So after turning the fabric, this is what we have when I've turned it. So I still have this space open. So I'm going to turn this space I have open. And I'll stitch to the extent I can. Then the remaining I'll seal it up with my hemming gum. So I'll just go ahead and continue my stitches right now. I've stitched to the extent I can and this is what I have left. So the space left here is so small. So I can go ahead and use my hemming glue or you can use your needle and thread to tack it up. 
So I'll do that now. So we we'll start off the draping. So I have my needle and thread right now. I'll come to the part that is a little bit open and I'm going to tack that part. So tacking it, I'll also make a gathers with my needle and thread. So I'm gapping my my stitches so I'll be able to make the roses. So you go ahead and twist the rose and secure with your stitches. So the more you make the roses, the more you tack on them. So you can see what I'm doing right there. So make sure you tack in a way that your stitches will not be seen. So you can make as much roses as possible as you wish. It all depends on you. You can even make your fabric wider than what we have. You can use a whole two yards with the length of 60 inches because um, this fabric always come at length of 60 inches so that when you fold it, you have 30 inches. So here I'm tacking my roses, as you can see, to the corset bust area. So you can choose to start from the right or from the left side. So we have the rose right now and I've cut out my needle and thread. As you can see, I tacked and cut it off. Okay, so you have to tack or knot and cut off. Then here you can see my rose is ready. So having gotten the rose on one part of the bust area, the next I will do is to make some drapes like this. So you can see how I made the drape and the drape is going to come right on top of the bust area like this. So what I'm going to do, I'll first drape this part, then take it up to see how it looks like. So I'll take it up this way, okay? So I'm just taking it up to see how it will look like on that part. So here is where we have the drape. So I'll hold it on on that part. I'll come back with my needle and thread. You can see what I'm doing to form the drape. So I'll just go, go ahead and do this. So you actually work with needle and thread a lot in this class. Okay. So then you will come at the top of it and also pass your needle and thread at the back to hold on to the drape. So you just go ahead and pass through. I already have a design here that is obstructing this, but never mind. So just get the idea on how to work on this drip. That's all. So when you are tacking, make sure your thread is not showing. So you have to take your time to work on this and make sure your thread is not showing. So you can see I've already taken part of the, I've stepped on the, all right. So after that, I'll go ahead and tack that part. Okay. So you have to be very careful. So I will also knot and cut out my thread as well. So now we've gotten the front drip. Okay. Okay. Sorry, this corset is not there uh, together. It's a box corset. So that's why it's pulling off and down. All right, 
So now we'll move over to the back since we have gotten this part. Of course, you can see how we made the roses. So you can go ahead and make your fabric wider if you need the roses very big. You can make use the whole length of um, 60 inches of uh, dolches, put it into two. You can use two, two yards, just fold it into two. And it will give you 30 inches. Okay, so we are using 20 inches for our, our own. So now, we'll now bring it back this way. You will bring it from the upper bust this way. And then flip it this way. So we are going to flip it this way and tack. So you just tack in between. So I'll start my tacking from the back beside the loop. So I've not knot my thread. So beside the loop, first fold in the first one. Then you make some folds so you can also go ahead and use your machine to tack if you want so but you can see what i'm doing here okay so you can use your machine to tack that part. So I'll stop at this and then I'm going to secure it. So always make sure you do what you secure like this. So that is it and that is how to go about the draping. So you can see how it looks on the dress form. So this is it. So we have this falling this way and that is up and we have our roses. So thank you very much for coming to this tutorial once again. I believe this class was helpful to you. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe. Turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends, drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you once again. See you in the next class. Bye.